Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Juliana. This video is part two of grooming tips that I think everyone should know to feel polished and put together. The last video I made on this topic touched on things like skincare, sleep, nail care, as well as the type of underwear I think everyone should be wearing. So make sure to check that video out, I'll link it in my description. Now in my last video, I did talk about how to cultivate your signature scent, but I think it's super important to first neutralize any body odor, otherwise you could just end up smelling like sweat plus perfume. Now before we get to that point, I'd like to first note that it's totally normal and natural to produce uh, body odor when we sweat. In other words, general body odor is something that's completely natural and should not be regarded with shame. But I think it really adds to our confidence when we do smell good or at least feel like we smell neutral, especially in more professional settings. And this tip actually came from one of the comments on my last video. They brought up this really great point that you can actually expand your use of antiperspirant beyond just your armpits, but rather to anywhere where you tend to sweat. So this could be maybe the backs of your knees, your chest, your back, even your hands and feet. But just disclaimer, I wouldn't really recommend going too close to your crotch as that can cause some imbalances, but I think anywhere else for the most part is fine. I also had some tips in regard to fragrance I'd like to add to make the scent last longer. Instead of spraying it all around you in a general shower, focus on spraying your pulse points. This will include things like the insides of your wrist, behind your ear, on the insides of your elbow, and even the backs of your knees. Also, you want to have something that your fragrance can cling to. So try moisturizing your skin right before or even adding a thin layer of Vaseline so that the scent has something to stick to. It also can be helpful to know the differences between the types of fragrances. An eau de toilette is normally 5-10% to essential perfume oil and will last between 4-7 to hours. Meanwhile, an eau de parfum is more like 10-20% to perfume oil and can last up to 8 hours. Neither one is really better than the other, but it's good to know so you can plan accordingly based on the occasion. Okay guys, let's move on to teeth and dental hygiene. Something that's really helped the cleanliness of my teeth is setting a timer for 2-3 to three minutes when I brush. This way I'm actually brushing for the proper amount of time. Before, when I'd be really tired and I didn't use a timer, I would only brush for about like 30 seconds or so and then call it a day. So in that way, the timer kind of takes out the guesswork and makes sure you're brushing long enough. Also, I feel like when people talk about dental hygiene, they always talk about teeth whitening, but I think it's super important and overlooked to remember to floss. Before I changed my routine, I never used to floss, and this was just because I didn't care to and I didn't really feel like it made a difference, and I would always get cavities in between my teeth. I think this is because brushing your teeth only removes the plaque from the front and the back of your tooth. Meanwhile, flossing is what really cleans between the teeth and underneath the gums. And I'm sure this tip of flossing is probably common sense to a lot of people, but it's kind of like putting on sunscreen. Those who don't do it don't really realize how much of a difference it makes. Speaking of which, it's super important to apply your sunscreen. Protecting your skin from the sun is super important to avoid things like skin cancer, dark spots, and premature aging. And it doesn't really matter if it's dreary and rainy or it's nice and sunny. Either way, you're constantly being exposed to UV rays and should really protect your skin. Even if you're a homebody, if you have windows at all, you should definitely still be applying sunscreen. I also think that applying sunscreen doesn't just apply to those who are pale or burn easily. If anything, you should still do it to just prevent general skin aging. We're getting more into spring now, but I actually think it's super important to put on sunblock when there's snow on the ground. And this is because the sun's rays tend to bounce off the whiteness of the snow and magnify the UV exposure. I know a lot of people refuse to implement sunscreen into their routine because they hate how it makes their skin feel, and honestly I totally get it. I'm going to put some sunscreens that I've tried and that I've liked in the sense that they haven't given me like a white cast or haven't been super greasy. I'll put them in my LTK for you guys to check out. But definitely keep in mind that we might have different skin tones, so whatever works for me might still produce a white cast on you if you have a darker skin tone. It's also super important to touch up your sunscreen throughout the day. And I know for those of us that maybe apply makeup in the morning and keep their face makeup on throughout the day, washing everything off and then putting on sunscreen and your face makeup all over again in the middle of the day is not really realistic. So I would recommend touching up with something like a spray sunscreen or even a powder sunscreen. 
I honestly prefer the powder sunscreen because the spray can tend to make my face look shiny. However, I'm not a dermatologist and I know there's been some debate on the effectiveness of sunscreen powders. I say to just test both out and find one that doesn't ruin your makeup but still feels protective. My last tip is honestly the most important out of all of them and without this one, I feel like the rest of the tips are just superficial. In order to look good effortlessly all the time, I think it's super important to manage your stress levels. And I totally get it, I feel like sometimes life is super hectic and we're just getting dragged along for the ride. And since we can't always control everything around us, I think it's most important that we get a hold of our own mental state. This is going to be the most beneficial thing for your health and therefore your appearance as well. In terms of physical appearance, stress can manifest itself in so many ways. For example, it can lead to things like bloating, acne, dry skin, dull skin, wrinkles, premature aging, and so much more. I think also an unspoken part of looking well-groomed is how we conduct ourselves, and it can be really hard to have good composure when we're under a lot of stress. There's so many ways to manage your stress, but a small tip that I'll share in this video is to develop a small routine that can be either done in the morning or the evening depending on if you're a morning or nighttime person. And I mean, of course, if you can do both or have the time for both, I think that's even better. You want to pick two to three activities that might seem indulgent or superfluous like taking a bath or stretching for 10 minutes and really focus on achieving them every single day as if someone else were relying on you to do so. Now I don't want you to start getting stressed on also trying to keep this routine so that's why it's definitely important to keep it small but by upholding this small piece of self-care in our day we can really start to feel more centered and content even if the rest of our day is chaos. Let me know if you'd like to see a video talking about how to reduce stress because I think it's a super important topic and one that I'd love to open a discussion about if that's something of interest. Alright guys, that's all I have for you for this video. Please follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. I love to post a lot of fashion and beauty content as well as outfit inspo. Comment down below what is your favorite grooming tip that you've picked up in your life and that's really helped you with your mental and physical well-being. Again, make sure to check out part one of these grooming tips if you haven't already. Again, the link will be in my description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!